film, well, what can I say without giving away the plot? Um, uh, it's just the epic and amazing story of astronaut Gene Cernan, uh, who, as we know, was one of the great Apollo astronaut pioneering space heroes, and, uh, and his, his life story. Um, not just in space, but um, on planet Earth and his personal journey during that time. I guess it came about because, you know, cutting a long story short, I, I, I just began reading lots of space books and astronaut autobiographies, and I came across his story, uh, which had a pretty catchy title. Uh, and I think when I just was halfway through that, I, I was just so taken by his story and the way he was telling it that I that I thought, oh, this this could be a film I want to make. Um, and that ultimately is what it was. I, and it just occurred to me from reading his book that that you know he he you know up until now you know he is the last man on the moon for the time being. But that that in itself is a very symbolic statement as well you know it also says we haven't been back in over 40 years and and that's certainly something that is uh, very um, uh, uppermost in his mind um, you know he's very proud to be the last man on the moon but he'd be happy if somebody went back there and took away the title you can't be a director and not immerse yourself in in any film and and that's certainly what I did um, with this one and his story um, and although his life and mine are incredibly different in so many levels, and he's from a different generation, obviously, that there are certain just human parallels that I, I began to identify. And so there are certain things in the film which I think were reflecting my own feelings and my own journey. And, and, I, and I, just, I just knew if, if, he, if he let me work with his story and, and, and tell it on the screen that, I, that I, 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 could, I think I could do it justice. Um, time will tell. I mean, I've just been to see the venue this afternoon and I'm just blown away. You know, it's the biggest uh, audience this film will have played at so far. Uh, and that gets the old, you know, heart racing a little bit. And, um, but it's, it's, it's not just the numbers. I mean, there's something very special about Naples and that, and that venue as well. And, uh, and the fact that Gene Cernan himself is able to come and be part of it. So, you know, I'm, I'm already starting to buzz, you know, it's like it's, like it's going to be showtime in a few hours and uh, uh, I'm looking forward to that very much indeed. Um, I, I always like the social aspect of it, you know, because there are plenty of other filmmakers in town. I get to talk with people like yourself and, and others from Naples and, and it's great, you know, I just love the opportunity to just talk and swap ideas and, and just share this experience. Um, I'm, I'm very moved, uh, touched by the fact that, you know, you can come up with an idea to make a film and you make it and usually by then you're kind of a little bit, not tired of it, but you know, you're ready to kind of do something else. And, but then that's exactly when people are seeing it for the first time and responding to it and you, and you get all this, hopefully, you know, good stuff back about it and that's actually very gratifying and I'm, you know you need that because it's most of filmmaking is is not the glamorous red carpet stuff it's a slog and you're on the phone and you're sending emails in the middle of the night and and so I'm just gonna hopefully just kick back and just let it wash over me I am Mark Craig I am NIF